Good morning. How's it going? Right then. Today, Sunday, uh, we're in sale in Manchester, out with the crew as normal. Uh, and I've just this second thrown in. And here's my first find of the day that's half decent. I'm Paul Lulahan, by the way, my good man. How are you doing? All right. Anyway, right. So I found a little knife, but I think it's one of them that you uh, you used for uh, shoes on horses. Uh, I'm sure that's something to do with, uh, with with something to do with the the shoes on the horses. But it's got a little knife on it there, and it's got a little thingy there as well. So uh, that's my first find of the day. I've not done first three chucks. Just got straight into it. To be honest with you. Uh, Trace is here at the side with Alan. Trace is Alan. Lovely. So, uh, yeah. Game on. So, I'm not sure what this little thing is, but it's uh, it's a little container. It's got a little hook on the back there to hang it up onto either a wall or a, something or another. But it's got a little tiny spout that comes out of the front here. As you can see there, I'm not, not sure what that's for, what it was used for, but it's. Uh, it's like an enamel on the outside of it. So that's uh, stopped it from going all rusty. So, yeah, not sure what that is, what it's for. Like you say, a little spout at the front, little container. Marvellous. Got uh, the top of a chimney off a boat, off a barge, as you can see there, nice little top hat, lovely. So I've got this little, uh, it's called the Thermo Clock. In out Thermo Clock it's called. Not sure what it's for, Don't, I've never seen one before on the back of it. It says mode and set as well. So, don't know what that's for. Not a clue, as you can see there. Little lecky thing, a couple of wires coming out the end of it, so. Don't know what that's for. So just had a big clump of mud and Obviously, the magnet grabbed hold of something that was in the middle of all the mud. Just cleaned it all off, and it's a really old mortise lock. Really, really old, this one is. Absolutely belter. You can just see the, the, the mortise on that side there, where it sticks out. And then on that side is where the keep is, for the key to go in. And, uh, yeah. Simple things, I know. So, young Tracer. Maple Leaf Magnet Fishing, everybody knows Tracer in the magnet world, has just got herself a little anti-aircraft round. I'll show everybody what you've got there, Trace. Have a look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I've never had one like this before where it's actually hollow all the way through to the tip. So I'm not sure if it used to be, if it was an explosive one or not, but it's a good solid anti-aircraft round that. Absolutely brilliant, Trace. Thank you very Lovely. much. Lovely. Oh, made up for you, love. Absolutely made up for you. Good, good is coming out. The goodies are coming out. So that little fer ferrier's knife, or what I thought was a ferrier's knife, uh, what I had out earlier on, uh, I just thought I'd give it a little clean while I had a couple of minutes there then. And it's actually got a date on it of 1953. Uh, and then it's got some more numbers at the bottom. And Alistair's here now with the uh, Welsh Dragon Magnets. And he said he thinks it's an old army uh, knife, fer fer ferrier's knife or whatever they're called, uh, for, for the horses. So yeah, it's 1953. And it's in really good nick. It really is in good condition. So I'm gonna give that to uh, Tracer and let Tracer have a little play with that. She'll uh, she'll do something with it, clean it up or whatever, so it's nice and sparkly. But yeah, that's it. So I like that. You've got to check your finds when you get them and just see what you've actually got, because sometimes the dates are on it and things like that. But it's got an arrow, three arrows on it, and Alistair said that is something to do with the army. The actual arrows that are on it, it, it depicts uh, an army knife. So, yeah. So, God knows how long that's been in there. 1953, my God. Nice little diving plug, fishing plug. Big fat one, isn't it? 
No hooks on it at all, as you can see, but two lovely little eyes, little glass eyes on that there. Lovely. Right, so I've just, I've come further up along here now. Uh, loads have turned up now. But Paul Darwin Dippers is over there. Give us a wave, Paul. You all right, bud? Then we've got Alistair, further down the canal. We've got the Bates Motel area. So we've got quite a few turned up now. So I just thought I'd uh, move along the canal a bit, uh, back towards where the vehicles are parked. Railway line in the background. Who knows, we might be able to find some railway finds. You never know, do you? Right, so on the far banking, there's a little bit of a, the wall finishes and it sets itself back. Now, I'm not sure if this little area here now is like an old turning circle for the barges or not. So give it a go. Always have a little look around your surroundings when you're magnet fishing. Just have a look for any little things that look a little bit out of place, the walls, where they change, anything like that. You never know what you're going to find, right? Let's get on with it. I'm seriously thinking of giving this flaming hobby up. Where I was just next to Tracer, young Molly from Welsh Dragon Magnets, she's just got out a gun. How? I was there this morning for two hours, scouring it. Move away. Young girl goes in, throws a magnet, gets a gun out. We have to be that far away. Remember that? That far away. A nice little handle on a bar with a little spike at the end. Not sure what that was used for, but uh, yeah. A nice pair of uh, fisherman's scissors. You know, the ones that the uh, that locks at the end at that point there, stainless steel. Uh, it's normally for getting the, the likes of uh, large hooks out of uh, predators' mouths, like pike, perch, things like that. So yeah, nice little pair there, nothing wrong with them at all. We'll find somebody who, uh, who wants them, who comes past and does a bit of fishing, right? Inconspicuous piece of metal. I like that word, it's a big word, that ain't it for me. As you can see. That's not inconspicuous, it's oh, part of the Titanic. I wish it was, mate, flipping heck. Uh, Alice has just told me it's part of an old petrol mower for cutting your grass. Uh, it, this is the side, the barrel come across this way. Uh, this little thing at the back here is for adjusting it up and down for the height. And uh, I just thought it was a little piece of metal then, but Alice has walked over and went, oh, that's off an old lawnmower, that is. So, yeah, marvellous. Some kind of gutter bracket there, but look at the size of the gutter that it must have been inside, whatever it was. I think it's for a gutter anyway, looking at it, a bit ornamental. Uh, it's crusted, absolutely crusted, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it was. Unless it was a foot for that way. I'm not sure. Who knows, but I'm going for a, a gutter bracket anyway. It's a, an old bumper off some vehicle. Not sure what it was off. It's got the little brackets on the inside there. Uh, it's like a half of it anyway. I just had a bit of a, a toolbox come out. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice if it was if I had something to go with it inside? And there was a plastic bag on the opposite side, and my magnet has grabbed hold of about 12 sockets and socket sets. The handle was on it as well. That still turns, that still does its job. And then uh, Best part of what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, about twelve, ten. Ten. Ten sockets to go with it. Marvellous. Oh, it's getting warm now. Anyway, moved along a little bit more. Had some right heavy stuff out, but I've just had a nice little charm bracelet that expands. It's elasticated. Uh, on it, it's got uh, a little pink unicorn. It's got a little diamond. Uh, it's got oh another pink, another pink unicorn, two pink unicorns, and uh, the word love. Marvelous, get out. Right, oh, it's time to go. 
we've had a cracking day today. All the team's been out and uh, we've had a really, really good day. Uh, just the last little picture of the day is uh, Tracer. It's a engine. And we've, they've, uh, the lads have just got it all back out while I was doing some grinding at the back of the van. Just got here and they've, uh, they've, they've found an engine. So, yeah, so. I'm telling you nothing, Alan. It's private, gri private grinding, Alan. So, uh, here's half the team. Everybody say cheers, Sarah. Cheers, Sarah. Marvellous. Look at that body there. Hey, flip it there. Right. Thanks for watching. And as normal, take it easy.